Hello guys and welcome back to the Inner River Valley with the fucking humans and half orcs and all kinds of shenanigans, elves, halflings, random people encroaching on our sacred, unique land. I even noticed in between episodes that places are starting to convert to coronites, which isn't great. Uh, we are going to be working on converting that because you know I can't convert stuff in vassals, but well. I suppose there was a point, after all, to those uh, conversion bonuses you can get through the mission tree. Um, bit of a shame I can't get to this stuff. Well, obligatory sermons, that doesn't actually say anything specific about conversion re stuff, but I assume the idea of banishing Kenorian thought would uh, do something to help. Uh, can I do more punitive expeditions? No, not quite yet. Oh, because I straight up have run out of manpower. Yeah, that is a bit of a problem. I should probably get some mercenaries, actually. Fuck. Uh, although that would involve, like, disbanding brigades, which I also don't want to do. Because there are no, like, reasonably sized mercenaries anymore. Well, I guess there are these guys. Sadly, you can't get those cheap ones anymore. They died during one of the wars. Probably the biggest loss during that independence war. I think that was the war that they died anyways. Oh fuck. So I just learned that negative prestige really fucks up your uh, independence desire. I did not know that. I guess I should be a bit careful about that. I don't... Oh fuck. They might actually just rise up at this point, man. This is not optimal at all. And get some marriages, I suppose, to get some of these to chill, but... Yeah, okay, I guess I'll uh, try to disinherit not as many ears. Well, there was one thing. I got an event about someone challenging me. I didn't read much. I thought, fuck it, I can afford to die. Well, I already have zero with legitimacy, so there we go. Plenty of prestige and legitimacy. Excellent. I think I'll start a raid on the cursed once again. I think you get prestige from that. Hey, nice. So one advantage of having half-orcs as neighbors is that you can convince them to leave. Thus we can get promises of our own culture and religion. Who can now produce gold, hopefully a bit more profitably. I don't know if I'm making much of it. Oh, I'm barely making any money off that gold. What a scam. Oof. Uh, we are about ready to invade Cornsfield, though. My vassal finally got ahead and got, went ahead and got himself a claim, so we can deck. Should be relatively straightforward. Thought we can take much though. Yeah, the war score is just not good. So we can only take like single provinces off them. Ooh, fuck yeah. Okay, so I guess we did benefit somewhat then from uh, constantly disinheriting. Unless this guy just dies again. Oh, fuck, really? We're actually getting invaded. By the halflings of all people. Uh, okay. Not the greatest time, bit of timing, but hopefully my... Well, I would say my vassal was, well, would help, but they're not exactly loyal at the moment. You guys will have to defend yourself for a while there. Uh, while I put some work into this other stuff. Kind of wanted to wait with any wars with the halflings, because they... Uh, well, they have a lot of dudes, for one thing. A very large amount of dudes. I guess that means these natives have to go. So I can't afford to sit there and protect it anymore. We have some hordes of manlets to kill. I would like to wrap up this cornfield war, though. So far, we haven't seen their actual army. Which I am guessing is over... Oh, prestige, yes, please. Over here, no? Oh, who knows where that went? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so a lot of rebels just popped up here for some reason, and these guys just left? Interesting. Right, let's see what these halflings are made of. I can't really tell exactly how many men I brought, but they have only one more tech. And they do struggle with, you know, being halflings who get penalties to combat and stuff. So yeah, that was relatively straightforward. I'm not, I'm not sure these guys thought this one through, to be honest. Oh, and we can peace out Cornsfield for... Well, no, no, we get two provinces. Yeah, that is not a colony, so that's worthwhile taking. Very nice. Not a lot of money, though. Although that just means we got some nice land, so... 
I dare say that was good. Ooh, I should, yeah, occupied by me, excellent. My lands. This blocks us from, yeah, 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 okay. Now, how we will uh, convince these guys to be loyal subjects, that's a different thing altogether. We can't just kick them out like we're doing with the half-orcs. Speaking of, we should probably stop kicking them out at right now. Wow, we actually get to wipe them off the map if we want. I think I will keep them around though, as halflings are useful to keep around because you can expel them. Um, so allowing them to colonize some of this land will make it easier to then turn it into worthwhile land for myself. Down the line. So I'll just take these for now. Need some money. Maybe, nah. Just direct money is better, I think. I will, what? Separate piece, eh? What? Oh, cause I'm not the war leader. Whoops. Uh, my bad, bro. I forgot. That was a mechanic. Or yeah, fuck. Derp. Well, hopefully he can. F oh, that means he will just annex these guys, won't he? Fuck. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. I'll just sell some crown land and buy loyalty. All right. Fighting our next war against uh, Ebon Moss. I, I know I'm just blatantly jinxing at, at this point, but I really don't understand why these guys haven't started allying each other. They could easily, well, not easily beat me, but they definitely could beat me, you know? Ebon Moss proved to be straightforward. Got some land, currently invading in the north. I really want this uh, Dame's Tear, of course, but uh, doubt we have the war score for it because of Inuk diplomacy and all that bullshit. We're also getting close to the next reform, which is going to be quite a nasty one, looking at the revolts or loyalty thing, although we can probably get some of them on our side. Also, cock, what tech do these guys... Ah, okay, they're all still on mine, that's good at least. Let's try and get our, uh, our vassals to link up with us, and not link up with these guys, then I guess. Huh. I guess the Crusaders decided it was fine to sit this one out and just wank in the forest. Fine by me. Less manpower I have to spend. At least now, with this province directly under our control, we'll be able to, um, we'll be able to directly fabricate on the rest of it and try and get that dame's tear. Oof, not a lot of money though. All right, we're also going to finish off this little guy. Uh, I got an, a thing about this guy wanting to conquer him as well, so hopefully this way we can just feed it directly to him and thus get some liberty desire reduction. I should have just given this province to him too, honestly. At this, I, I totally forgot that we get pretty nasty penalties for um, for uh, having like a lot of land directly owned. So I need to finish the last reform, and so I can you know start expanding without feeling uh, or potentially running into problems like that. Very close to the last reform. I'll celebrate that by uh, grabbing. Well, I suppose it'll just be one province probably of these guys. Their tech advantage is becoming quite significant at this point, though, so we'll want to make sure we get some reinforcements. It's going to be quite the nasty civil war. I could technically get the institution at this point and, um, and start really teching up, but uh, I don't know. maybe it is worth going into a bit of a debt hole. Just, I mean, just getting the... Boosting my diplotech for one thing would be very nice for the sake of loyalty of vassals. Yeah, where are they? Also, they... Oh, no, they're just wandering around. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, Corin's Field invaded the dwarves over here and uh, won. Or actually, they were invaded and they won. But then they got invaded by New Havaral and um, the Tipney Pioneers. So... Scary things. The second one of these guys realizes they can ally each other, it's Ogre, man. Once again, that was a... Uh, very quick and easy war. Uh, of more interesting note is the fact that we can now begin the last religious reform. So we shall call the council for one last thing. Um, where we will try and find out whether or not Canorian thought is relevant to us. Now, the bonus... Uh, well, actually, no, the bonus for t saying that it's not relevant at all is... Uh, 
triple your revenue, bruh. Greedy people. Pause to read. I can't be arsed, to be honest. I think I get the basic idea. These backward people know nothing of the inn. Damn straight. Now, one thing I'm wondering here is... Uh, well, I guess we'll get to it when we get closer to Civil War. Is A part of me kind of thinks it would be good, actually, if I could just let these disloyal vassals have independence. Because when you um, discontinue the Yoshahar system and uh, I can turn people into normal... Um, I guess I don't turn them into normal vassals. Uh, they just stay Yoshahar. But... Um, but yeah, everyone gets a lot of liberty desires, so uh, I won't really stand a chance to annex them if I um, if I have all of these disloyal guys as well, boosting the disloyalty of uh, the guys who potentially could be annexed, you know? Alright, time to test. Let's settle this civil war. Not quite yet, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, it doesn't happen until I click button, I forgot. Uh, evil knowledge from evil realm, that's that's right. And so, yeah, these guys... Damn, I gave them land and everything through the missions, and now they betray me. Absolute state. But I'm wondering, what will happen if I just white piece? Because that's... That's much closer to what I would actually prefer here. Um, I suppose I might have to do a bit of safe scoving to test it. Because it, you know, it says that you might become an Eoshar of theirs if they win, but it's not necessarily made super clear what is meant by that exactly. It's like, do they have to win as in they have to enforce Eosar on me, or... Um, or what? Also, can I perform religion now, or... Need all religious reform? What? Oh, do I need to do another... Another council? Hmm? Okay, that's confusing. Oh well, let's just fight this war and deal with it afterwards. Oh, that's unfortunate. My king is not only illegitimate, he's fucking... He wants to make my vassals more independent. Oh, I almost caught this army. Damn it. Let's see if I can at least siege this back relatively quickly. It's always fun how, like, a hundred dudes can just, like, <laughs> just sit there. Alright, Great Battle of the North. And we won, yes. Uh, don't really care. Ah, fuck it. I really should start to think about moving my trade capital to the south at this point. Wait, what was that? Some war, no? Okay, I don't know what that was. I was afraid one of the uh, dudes out here decked on my, uh, or decked on my, some of my revolters. Because I wouldn't exactly be able to do much to stop them, would I? This is a bit of a potentially spicy battle. I'm not feeling overly confident, but we do have the defensive. Uh, yeah, we want at, at a high cost, but yeah. Oh wow, they can't even retreat. Nice. Get fucked. Alright, I'm back from a bit of safe scumming. And I can unfortunately proclaim that uh, we are in trouble. So while it worked, well, it does seem like a viable solution to give these guys independence in the war. What I found out is that we really do need to pass a quote-unquote last reform. We need to call for a last noble council in order to reform our shit. Which I had kind of relied on not being the case. This is bad because uh, I have taken a lot of territory and so my author authority gain is just not good. And I can't even give away land to vassals because they're not vassals, they're Yosahar. I suppose I should at least stop colonizing. Fuck, man. I mean, I would use this opportunity to take some land, but... Uh, I guess I'll want to avoid that if I want some of that authority. Okay, never mind. We're actually getting a decent bit of gain. I guess having these extra vassals helps. Maybe I should have taken land. Oh, well. Let's fight some rebels to celebrate. Okay, this is weird. 
So that thing where vassals randomly become independent happened again. I guess as a part of the peace deal, quote unquote, when I won my rebellion against this guy, he lost, like a bunch of people were released, but instead of becoming my vassals, they just sort of hang out. That's, um, that's certainly something. All right, I've decided to hold a, um, <laughs> a, uh, an expensive tournament in the hopes that I will get assassinated. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't get assassinated. Yeah, I really want the heir with better stats and less liberty desire to take the throne for obvious reasons. Uh, I don't know, maybe they'll, maybe they can off me during the tournament. Oh, another chance. Oh, come on, why does my dumbass continuously live? And, I mean, I feel like I should invade Corrin's field, but at the same time, what's the point? I mean, I guess I can feed some land to vassals and make them like me more. I will barely be able to take any land regardless, so... Eh. It's probably, honestly, more profitable to just sit here and, like, save up for tech and some stuff like that. I've been trying to get as many people loyal as possible to... Uh, to make sure I gain... Um, as much authority as possible, but it's just, ugh. I'm also building forts to get a mission done. Uh, why is it not that? Don't tell me I built. No, it should be ready, actually. What's up with this? All oh, right, we actually need to put cavalry there. All right, pause and read if you want, but the Eastern Keep will be established. Now that I think about it, though, I'm, I'm not sure this actually helps. Oh, that actually reduced my fucking authority. Ugh. By quite a bit, even. Oh, wow, okay, that was very dumb then. Uh, I mean, I guess I can just. Fuck. Uh, I guess I can just re release him? But uh, will, will the Amethyst Order thing stay there then? I mean, I, hmm, I've al I already released one guy up here. He just immediately got conquered, though. Is the thing. So yeah, that's what I get for releasing my vassal again to try and get more authority. It just instantly gets conquered. Lovely. I guess I can go in and make this guy a, a vassal as well. Oh, he'll probably just get conquered, but it's something. Well, there's one opportunity to lose some land. Very sad, but hopefully, I mean, our, yeah, it's getting better now. That little vassal actually did manage to survive, so that's good at least. I've also been building temples like a madman, despite not them, despite them not being profitable at all. To try and, because uh, you get two uh, authority for every one of those you build, so that's one way. Oh hell yeah, that's one way to get authority. Zin, bro, I don't even care. Okay, maybe I care a bit, and uh, I mean I would need to k actually kill them, so um, I'll deal with it. My patience has been rewarded, though. We can finally embrace the Renaissance. Which, uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely makes tech a bit cheaper. Let's just put it that way. Very nice stuff. Don't think that's gonna make a difference here, but... Well, maybe some more guys will be loyal. We can soon do another tournament as well, so hopefully I can get assassinated. Queen Regent dies? Oh, come on! Not the Queen. Wait, Queen Regent? Fucking Queen Regent. Ah, who knows? Someone, assassinate! Come on! Let's go! Let's get this done! It is nice, though, to see just how much money you can make when you sit around here. Splendor, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Like, faux pas, well, that's not great. Damn it. Stop stealing my money. I have pointless temples to build. Only I could roll better on the whole in thing. Oh, there's another way to get stuff. Um, mock body. Uh. I don't know, man. As in, I literally don't know where that is. Yes, that's what I need. An actually good year. Well, it said normal year still, though. That's nice. All right, some good news. Uh, we are officially allowed to finish the unification uh, or reform of the faith. Bad news is that, uh, well, 
I had to save scum essentially or reload a save because uh, this just did not work the way I um, the way I thought it would. Um, yeah, so pause to read this if you want. It's you know yeah yeah we've done some stuff. We now get in rim river reformed as a religion, and we no longer are primitive. Never really noticed that, but sure. I guess we can do actual or oh, inuk feudalism. I guess they intend for you to keep vassals, but uh, hmm. But yeah, uh, unlike what I thought would happen, is that there will be no civil war uh, f as a result of doing this. You will, however, get a civil war once you click this button, although it doesn't actually say how it will work, though. It simply says that they won't like this and that they will get a bunch of liberty to desire. What it doesn't say is that all vassals who are... At least that's how I came to understand it after some testing. All vassals that have more than 10% liberty desire uh, when you click that button, or, you know, they, once the 40% liberty desire is added to these numbers, they will all revolt and completely crush you. And even if you win the war and vassalize the, the leader, because, you know, there's a leader of the revolt and then he gets everyone else as a vassal, even if you vassalize that guy, you don't get the other guys as vassals. They just become independent, so... So yeah, that is something I certainly wish I knew before I click that button. So now that I do, I will make sure to spend or save up a whole bunch of mana so that we can uh, dev some of these people into loyalty. It's like even Varian would have revolted uh, we, unless I were to dev them a whole bunch. Uh, forming the Unic Empire does not help, so there's no point in doing that. Uh, instead, I yeah, let's just save up some mana and also, I guess, um, start to yoink some land from people who are just doomed to uh, being disloyal. Like, we might as well, quote-unquote, borrow this province. So I'll make him loyal by diving him and then immediately take that land. Thank you. That's a nice important fort that will be useful for the war. So yeah, I'll do some of that stuff and then I'll fight the actual war. Oh, this is interesting. So two of my so vassals are starting to fight each other. I might actually make this a pretty good time to click the button that makes the... That... Uh, that makes everyone angry. I think uh, I think I will take this chance actually. Rebels can be beaten another day. So, we just get our dudes up a bit. Yeah, and I am also noticing some of these vassals are actually having their liberty desire increase, so... Let's just click a button. There we go. Everyone is now disloyal. So now we need to make sure that as many of these guys are below 10%. Independence desire as possible, although the amount of guys we will be able to do that to is rather limited, as you can see. I mainly want Vara in to stay on my side. So he will have to get some dev. Doesn't really seem to matter that much where I do it. Just some of that. I mean, uh, I probably should have tech for the war too. How much is it? 700? Hmm. We'll see if I'll need it or not. Yeah, see, so you still need to dev certain places. Uh, yeah, I'll just sort this stuff out. Right, that's as many as I think I can get away with. We'll also get technology. Oh, I should have taken that first, actually, so I could have had time to switch out my units. So, well... Um, one trick I did check, actually, is that if, you f if, if I were to form the Unique Empire right now, only one nation will actually revolt. But at that point, you'd be left with so many disloyal vassals that, uh, you know, you'd be stuck, essentially. Here we go. Um, yeah, that is how it looks now. Definitely seems more vi it seems more winnable than uh, that alternate timeline we shan't speak of. Because that never happened. Because that was just unfair and dumb. Now to victory, I hope. It is unfortunate that I've had to save scum as much as I have in this uh, in this campaign, but... Once again, it's the kind of stuff that... 
feel like the, the, the mod or game, the game should tell you about this kind of stuff, you know, in my opinion. Shouldn't have to come as a surprise all the time. Fuck you, rebels. Probably... Oh, shit, never mind. Look at that, they're actually... Damn, what kind of tech are they feeling? They have fuck all tech. Okay, I don't know why I'm dying so hard. Maybe some of my... Uh, allies have shit tech still? Who knows? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so... Uh, this guy was disloyal, but it looks like he in turn declared war on my enemies. Well, that's excellent. Yeah, I'll totally be your friend. Now, this is what I did not want to happen. Eben Moss is declaring on the guys I'm fighting. That's not epic. Istranar has, or the Crusaders haven't done anything yet. I mean, fuck. There's nothing much I can do about it. I guess I can declare on Eben Moss myself to try and push them back. But I won't quite the land grab here, so I don't want to fight Eben Moss when I can't take land because of overextension. Hell, I'm probably already... No, never mind. We've, we've already cored our stuff. Alright, so we can peace out with these guys now, but uh, I do think I want to stop this Ebon Mass land grab. So we're going to be declaring on them as well. I'm also super paranoid that they're going to ally tip name. And yeah, we'll do that in the next episode though. Uh, thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye.